Welcome to Journeys with Jason George, Episode 11, Mennonite Buggies and the Secret Wildlife Staff. On our trip to go and meet Shannon's friend Rob, we actually see a bald eagle. But the real highlight of this trip is getting to meet Rob. He's pretty cool. These are going to be um, flip blades, right? Same thing. But I didn't realize you sell all of these things. Yeah. I, I guess they're like, there's no museum here. Yeah. See, like this one here. This is a Damascus. You can see the pattern there. I right? love that one. This guy actually makes these blades. He makes all kinds of awesome things. Oh. I'm getting some cool ideas. Look at all these things. The reason we're here is the two of them have been planning this electrical knife for a bit. I thought I'd tag along. Somebody gave me that and said, hey, I like how this, you know, flips or whatever, mm -hmm. but they wanted it made out of chain. And he wants to collaborate on a walking stick for me? Oh, it could be Like the actual wood? walking stick being wood. It doesn't. I don't know the item asked. No, it, it, this could be wood. This could be... I'm not going to tell you too much of this video. You're going to have to tune back to another one. On our way home, we took the scenic route. This scenic route took us in a different path that I was actually expecting. I was expecting to see a whole bunch of animals, but we actually got to see a whole bunch of buggies. These buggies were traveling people from town to town or job to job, but it got us thinking, I wonder if it's cold in there. What do you think? When it, like, the thought of like getting into a, like, a cold car is horrible. Get alone, like they don't get to go in there and heat up. They must just have a lot of blankets. And what's crazy is that we actually saw a couple of them that didn't have any roofs on them. It must be so cold and windy for those people. Weather's starting to change. Stay warm. No good drive in the winter time is complete without a snowy owl sighting. And Shannon spotted the first one. It was a male. Haven't seen many males this year. Then we spotted another one. It was on the light post. It was really active. See the way its head's moving from left to right? Is it looking for a mate? Is it looking for a meal? I wonder what it's looking for. I've never seen one moving so much. Three males on this trip. I haven't seen that many males in a very long time. This is a different area and we saw no females. Do they hang out like a grade eight dance? I don't know. Normally I see them a few males sprinkled in, but this was only males, and I've been seeing a lot of females. The last time Shannon was in the area, she saw multiple males and females. Well, not this time, but oh, look at this one flying. Well, I think it's there flying. Oh, yep, I can see the wings flapping. Nope, I've lost it. He settles down in the brush, well, the long grass, and if I had not seen him land, I would have no clue where to look. Do you see him? Yeah. Let's change the angle. Does that make it easier, or does he blend in more? I wonder if dinner is sitting in those bushes. Well, we let him be and head at home, but it was a great day, and we got to see Three snowies, a bald eagle, a hawk, and planned some knives. Ooh. Like and subscribe to all three. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and enjoy the wildlife.